these shops are making crazy money, making printable wall art that you can make for free on Canva. And in this video, we'll be showing you how you can do it in just under 10 minutes. So to begin, we'll be using canva.com. If you don't have an account, you can click the top right and create a sign in and log into your account. Once we started, once we have an account, we can go to the top right, click, create a design and type in the dimensions um, and change it to inches and input 12 by 16 and then click create a design. What you'll see loading up is of course your blank canvas. Now, if you've never used Canva before, on the left hand side, there is some different uh, buttons that you can choose. The graphics tab will allow you to input and search any pictures that you want and you can type it in and what a camera will do is generate some certain elements or images for you to use. You can also use Canva to create, generate text. Um, if you go back to the elements and if I delete that, you'll see that there's different options here, including um, effects, shapes, uh, pictures and elements. So if we type in, for example, cute animal and click through to graphics or photos, you'll see there's some options to choose. In the graphic tab, you'll see there's lots of cute animals that we can use in this um, example. Make sure not to click the one with the crown at the bottom right because this is the pro and therefore paid version. We'll click the panda here and we'll use that as our image. So we can just scale up by dragging the corner. And by using the snap function of Canva, you can center it in the middle. You can also just click position and then use the features here by clicking middle and center to make sure it's in the middle of your canvas. Now what you'll see is there's a automatic recommendation of different um, of different graphics that you can choose. Here we have an actual panda head and I actually like this better. So I'm gonna use this as my image for this video tutorial. Now I can center that up again. And now what I'd like to do is add some text to my poster. On Canva, you'll see there's lots of um, stock text that you can use are quite cool. Just have a good um, scroll through and find one that you find is suitable for your printable. What I'll be using is this one here. Now you'll see there's some sub subheadings here, so you can just delete that. And just by double clicking on the main text and maneuvering it where you want, you can type anything you want. So what I'm gonna write is just welcome. You can just stretch it. You can stretch it to make it look bigger and position it where you want. Now what I think I'd like to use is some more attractive, swirly looking font below. So I'm going to delete the subheading and using this text and type in little one. You can now position that at the bottom as well. Now what I want to do is try and make this a bit bigger and I'm going to add some effects to these texts just to make them look a bit more appealing. By left clicking on the text and clicking effects, you can now go down to curve at the bottom. And you can see that we can curve this around the panda head in this case. Curved text always looks attractive. Now, we'll do the exact same for the text at the bottom, but this, side, this time in the opposite direction. Now we have welcome little one covering around the panda. Now, if you decide that you don't actually like what you've created, Canva makes it very easy to change. So left click, by double clicking on the text here, I can change the font to whatever one I want. So I've used a slightly different one, and I've just maneuvered it again to where I would like it to sit. And again, you can just alter it to curve around just a little bit more smoothly. Now what I want to do is change the background. So by clicking the background, the color palette on the top left, you can now choose and select which color you want. What I went for is a slightly beige off-white color. I think that looks really warm and fitting for a baby printable. Now with baby printables, watercolors are often a really attractive element that you can use to add in. So by scrolling through here on the left, you can see there's different options. And once you find one, you can click it and move the element where you want. Because it's layered, you might need to move it to the back by right clicking, arrange, and then click send to back. This will put it in front of the background. Now you just need to click and drag it and position it or scale it wherever you want. I'm just going to move it right here behind the little one. I think that looks great. And just like that, we've created our printable. Now all that's left to do is save it. So what we need to do is just go to the top right corner and click share. Then go down to download left click and you can change the file type. I'm going to change it to a I'm going to change it to a PDF print as this is um, something that we'll be using to print off. I then click download. You can just rename it if you want to whatever you want. I'm going to click draft one and just save it. 
Then you get a download bar loading up and it'll tell you when it's done. Now, if you go back to the home page of Canva, what you want to do now is create a mock-up so that we can sell this product on Etsy. So by typing in free mock-up, you'll see some templates loading up. Now, if you look closely, there will be one that's for pro version again, so that's with the crown at the bottom right, or there will be one that's paid for. There'll be a, a currency sign at the bottom right corner as well. So have a look and see which ones you like, and of course you can buy one if you want, or you can try and find one that's free. I found this one here, and it looks great. Now just click customize this template. Now, once it's loaded, you can just delete this the, the box at the bottom here and click on the image and you can delete it and you'll see the frame image here. Now that's just a placeholder. Now all we need to do is drag in our poster that we've created. Now if I was to drag in the PDF print it won't work so what we have to do is go back and download this as a JPEG. Once a JPEG has loaded and downloaded we can now drag that file on and it will replace the placeholder. Now to create a bit more elements to your mock-up Go back to the elements on the left hand side. You can go down to lines and shapes and just click a circle. You'll see there's some options there so you can choose different shapes. The circle is ultimately went pink just to match um, the colour of the stroke. You can change the colour here at any point as to whatever colour you want. I'm going to change the colour to match the background of the poster. Now all you have to do is create text and I'm going to use this as a text box just to explain that's an instant download. So, have a look and find which text you like. I like this one here. I'll delete the subheading and then just type in instant download. It's just a case of resizing it to that of the circle. And then Canva, you can even put in a download sign. So by going back to the elements and just typing in download icon, just click one that you like and then drag and drop it onto the, the circle and the call to action that you've created. And all there's left to do is just to share and save this image. And this will be your listing or mock-up for your Etsy listing. You can click share and download it this time as simply just a JPEG. And here we have it. This is our Etsy listing that we created with Canva to upload to Etsy and start your printable business. Thanks very much for watching guys. I hope this has been helpful. Please make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.